Ah, oh, that's not a good start. Um, that ain't good. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. Um, I'm just gonna repair this little, little bit of damage here first. There we go, all fixed up. And as you can see, I've actually got a bunch of cows because I've been farming up some leather. And actually, let's just pop some music on because what we need to do today is pretty important. We're actually going underneath this very fire pit that just blew up. Now, if we go down here, you can see that there's actually quite a lot of work that needs doing. This space is completely empty, but you can see that I've placed a few bits of dirt. Basically, we're going to be making this into our secret tunnel underneath Area 77. But I want this to look more of the part. So we're going to kick off today's episode with a time lapse of us creating this area. So it might not be particularly obvious what I'm going to be doing here, but as you can see, I'm slowly replacing the big square rectangular box with some very messy dirt and coarse dirt, because I want this build to really tell the story of what's going on here, and that mainly involves creating something that looks more natural, not in terms of like Minecraft natural, but natural in terms of I've dug out a big hole underground and there's loads and loads of dirt. I think it actually looks much, much better if it's just the one block. It actually, you can see that I've made this all by hand. And then I wanted to add all the details. How did we dig this hole? Well, we made some big machines, some diggers that are more modern and not really that hippie-like. So it really feels like a secret underground operation that you might expect in like a Bond film or something. So we're hiding this from everyone. And I think this looks pretty cool. I may have gone a little bit overboard and I've actually had a few more ideas since the time lapse. It took a really long time, but look at this. If you use the grindstone like this one after the other, you can really make it look like caterpillar ties. Does, doesn't that look awesome as a little detail on this particular digger. So I've actually, you know, I've built these two diggers to make it look like we're actually excavating under here. Now this very much isn't hippie at all. This is, um, this is pretty modern technology digging our way into Area 77. I actually haven't started the tunnel yet. That's what we're going to do now. But I actually have a plan just in case the boys come looking. So we're going to make a bit of a security door at least so that if Doc and Scar do happen to come looking at what we're doing here and they happen to find the very obvious hole in my RV, they're not going to find anything that they can get into. So we're going to create a redstone door here. Yeah, you heard me, a redstone door. And I've actually got a design from none other than our moustached friend, Mumbo Jumbolio. So... Thank you, Mumbo, for the design, and we're about to make it right here. Now, this episode's probably going to have a lot of time lapsing in because I actually want to make a really, like, a lot of progress today. I want to make sure we get a lot done because the hippie area, our little hippie commune, has, well, it's got a bit of catching up to do on the Area 77 business because Scar has been very, very busy building and Doc has been very, very busy breaking Minecraft. So... The hippies have a long way to go, and I'm going to start by making this tunnel a reality because actually it might not seem like the hippie commune is very far away, but in terms of a tunnel, we've got a lot to dig. But like I said first, we need to protect this with a little redstone door. Well, maybe maybe not too little. I'm going to make a 4x4 four four door that I saw on Mumbo's video because it's it's actually really, really awesome and I think it will fit really well if I make it all out of dirt and hide it properly. So, let's time lapse this little creation of some redstone. This is the first time I've ever redstone something that's not really a build, it's, you know, redstone, and I desperately want to get better at it. So, I'm gonna take every opportunity I can to try and install some more redstone into my videos to try and get better at it, even if it just me starting off by copying some other designs just so I can learn. I'm so shocked that I didn't mess it up and it worked first time. This door is so fast. Okay, so I've actually got a really cool idea on how we can activate this to open it. I just need to make sure I've got enough space and that the redstone that I do make doesn't interfere with anything. So I'm going to play it real safe and I'm going to make it like a couple blocks away. So 
Observers are great because they detect pretty much anything. And if I pop a sticky piston here and then a redstone block right there, if I then I if I then hoe this block here like that. Did I put this the wrong way, didn't I? I still I still got a lot to learn. I still got a lot to learn. There you go. It then creates a T flip floppy, a floppy T flop, a flop flop T flop T flop. I'm gonna make my own redstone words up and see how they catch on. Right, so we've got ourselves a T flip flop, or as I prefer to call them, a T flop. And then all I've got to do is send this redstone signal all the way up to this bit up here. Shouldn't be too difficult at all. There's m there must be easier ways of doing that. Uh, oh dear. Uh, somehow I powered only half of it. I thought what I was doing was so simple. Yes! I did it! Look at that! We've got ourselves... Uh, 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 we've got ourselves a pretty awesome door! Alright, now all we have to do is cover this up in a nonchalant way. Using coarse dirt and normal dirt, just like everywhere else. I hope that oh I better not touch any of it otherwise it might get it might get stuck and break the door. But as long as this looks like everything fits, I'm pretty sure that you won't be able to tell that this is here at all. I think the scariest thing about this entire thing is not that I actually managed to do this redstone. The the main thing is that I kind of understand why it works. I understand the observers and all of this and how it all updates. I actually understand why this door works. That doesn't mean I would be able to actually design something like this myself. Don't get me wrong, this is a genius design. But I actually understand it and I learned quite a lot just from building this and just trying to understand. I spent ages just looking at the observers and wondering, wait, so why does that power that? Why does this power this, etc. And when maybe one day I'll be able to make my own piston door. And it is totally covered. And although it might be obvious to us, we know that there's something there. But in the grand scheme of things under here, where everything is meant to look like it's being dug out. So you just have to know which block it is, this one. You right click it with a hoe and then it releases the door for you to then enter. And I think it might actually close behind you. No, this would stay there until someone walked over it. But I don't know if that that automatically closes it. So you can open it with a right click and then you just jump on it to close it or walk over it repeatedly. Maybe sprint on it. There we go. That's how you close the door. Easy peasy. But I think that's probably more than enough time spent underground. I'm going to have to continue this long tunnel in the next episode. But we have successfully... I didn't walk over that. I think that did it by itself. That's a bit worrying. The door can shut behind you. I might need to make it activatable from the other side. But still, it's, it's really awesome. Okay, let's get out of here because it's... It's actually getting a little bit claustrophobic down here. I did actually promise that I would tell you about this thing over here, the giant circle. And I actually saw some of your guys' comments and they were pretty accurate. But I won't tell you which ones they are just yet. What we need to do is actually make this cylinder go pretty deep down. Probably about 30 or 40 blocks or so. Not entirely sure, but yeah, it needs it needs to go down quite a way. So, again, I told you that there was going to be a lot of time lapsing in this video because there's a lot of things that need doing, and they're pretty grindy things to do. So, let's start the time lapse of me digging this circular hole all the way down. This will be probably the last time lapse of this particular episode. However, I thought I would share the creation of this silo just because time lapsing something like this where you're digging a big hole, it's very satisfying to watch. So it's not gonna last very long and it's not gonna go even all the way to bedrock, but I think it looks really cool nonetheless. Oh my goodness. I've accidentally created a slime farm in this silo. I, I finished digging it and it's pretty deep and I'm pretty happy with it, but I have a feeling it might actually end up being much 
bigger in the long run because what I'm going to be making in here is actually a distraction, a distraction from Area 77 or to distract the guys in Area 77. So obviously this looks very suspicious and that's kind of the point. I want them to be focusing on this stuff rather than what we're doing under there. Hello. What? There's clearly been a thunderstorm because there's, ow, there's the, the skeletons of the apocalypse or whatever they're called. Get rid of him. And then we're in, hey. Oh my good, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, no, 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 no. I was just, what is going on? What are you doing in our farm? Hey, 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 it's 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 all good. It's all good. We're hippies. We're we're all friends here. Oh, they're they're just bailing. What have they done? What have they done? Apart from leave a bow. They didn't go under. I hope they I hope they didn't go under. If they only got here, they probably just saw this lovely garden and you know what? They're welcome it to it. They're welcome to look around this lovely peaceful garden because there's absolutely nothing suspicious about it. However, there is something very suspicious about my my van. I should hide this better. I need to come up with a better way to hide this. In fact, right now, I think I need to I need to hide. Oh, they might have already seen it, but it, just in case they haven't, if they I didn't know that they were snooping around. Let's just cover this up real quick. It's going to be super annoying to get in in and out of this van now. This door is the worst thing. Right. Let's get rid of that. There we go. So it's hidden a little bit more now. But I have a feeling that they might have seen things. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to hope that they, they only saw the garden there. Anyway, what I was going to say before I was rudely interrupted is... Do you remember from the very, very beginning of this series, which was over a year and a half ago, we had a horse called Jack Skelebone, and I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Can I feed him bones? I need a saddle. I need a saddle so that I can keep him. Can keep him in the hippie commune. Hold on, I actually have leads. Having a nap. What are you up to? Oh, yeah. Okay, so they're just playing dumb. Don't act, <laughs> Don't act like I didn't see you. Don't act like I didn't see you. Snooping, snooping around. This is a place of peace. Everyone is welcome. As Ren Bob would say, welcome, man. Or something along those lines. There we go. I crafted a couple of leads. Doc, Doc just said something that makes me, uh, makes me a little uneasy. As you have nothing to hide over there, right? Just as we do. Nothing to see here. And keep the music down. <laughs> Oh, uh, they, I don't, I'm going to have to check if they see something. Wait, can I not lead a horse? Can you not, oh man, because it's tamed maybe? Okay, I'm going to just need to get a saddle from somewhere. I found a saddle from my base. There we go. You can't put armor on these ones, but look at this. We got, we got our skeleton horse back. This is amazing. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with him. We're going to, we're going to keep him. We're going to hip, keep him in the hippie commune. This is amazing. It's a shame I can't lead them. I guess I'm just going to leave him right here. Oh, this is so cool. I'm going to need a new name for him, though. This isn't Jack Skelebone. This is, a, this is a new guy. So give me your name suggestions for my skeleton horse in the comments down below. And I'll choose my favorite out of all of them. Now that Ren is actually online, I desperately need to think he's actually just over there. So I'm going to go and hop into a call with him and discuss what I've just seen. The two, the two guys coming in here and taking a little peek around. So hold on, let me just uh, get hold of Ren. Are you okay, Ren? I, I've got some news, bad news. Green, we have an emergency situation. Well, yeah, I was about to say, I've just seen... Yeah. I've just seen Doc and Scar skulking around in here. And what? I reckon, I reckon they've seen some of the hippie secrets that I've been building. <sighs> Yeah, you didn't see them by chance run off with what used to be a hyperspace inducing nuclear reactor, did Dude, you? I've been staring at this the entire time talking to you, and I had n I didn't realize at all that it was gone. <laughs> uh, uh, no, okay, yeah. so that's what they took. That's yeah, what they. That's what they were here for. It's bad news for Rain Bob, man. He loves flying around in hi in hyperspace. He's going to be one sad hippie. Let me tell you. Yeah, but didn't didn't you steal that in the first place, though? To be fair. 
uh, well, Ren Bob stole it. I had nothing to do with you it. Totally I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> They're totally justified in taking that away from you because you stole it from Scar in the first place. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, we've got problems. They've clearly got eyes on what we're doing. Um, so you want to th- steal... You, let me get this straight. You want to steal back what they, what you stole from them. Yeah. For Rainbow. Because they stole it. Okay, right. So there's a lot, yeah. of, there's a lot of stealing going on. Yes. I yes. suppose you as for, yeah, I suppose you were just using it to fly around. But still, I, I think <laughs> that's like there's no crime here. They're just taking back what belonged <laughs> to them in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen. They obviously have eyes around here. They're spies in abundance. Yeah, dude, have you seen this? Yeah. Have you seen the the little we, truck they've got over here? Yeah. We need they're, to do something about watching. this, man. Well, you know, I'm a little bit ahead oh. of you actually on that front. Here, let me show you. Ooh. Let me show you my little secret. This is what I was terrified that I thought they had found because they even said in the chat afterwards, like, we you, we know you're hiding something. Um, so well, I, I panicked and I, I hid it. It's not it's not particularly well hidden. You can oh, totally yeah, this see is... it. Um, but if you come down here, I have been working on a little project to make our way into Area Seven Seven because I'm trying to get my time Ooh. machine back. Look at this, isn't it awesome? What dude, this is insane. Yeah. Oh man, this is awesome. Okay. So, I'm making a tunnel to uh, uh-huh. air, uh to tunnel under area seventy seven and here let me show you. I made a I dude, I even done some redstone. Let's check this out. Okay. Whoa! Wait a minute. When did you learn to do redstone? <clears throat> this doesn't make sense. Yeah, I totally copied a tutorial, but that's not the point. Bye Ren. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is amazing. There's there's, so, there's no s- switch on the other side. You're stuck. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let's get some coal here. <laughs> oh yeah, so that's gonna be the oh, tunnel. And it's gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna need your help actually, because it's quite a long way to get to Area 77. Okay. And then hopefully we can break through, get into Area 77, and take yeah. back what's ours, or you take back what you stole in the first place. Okay, makes sense. Um, I've also been working underground, and well, we're gonna have to get out of here first, though. So yeah, straight up, straight up the ladder. Straight up the ladder. Yeah, it's okay. Not particularly well hidden. Yeah, um, I've been working on a little bit of covert operation myself, right? Trying to make sure that they don't see what we're doing around here. Yeah, so it's not fault. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just saw you face plant. <laughs> It's all the way up here, I told you. I saw you you working down there, but I had no no idea what you were doing. Yeah, bit of a secret entrance, right? So we got lots of cool things coming up. We don't want them to see it. There's no ladder And I thought, yeah, you're just going to have to fall. You're just going to fall. fall. Yeah. Ow. Yeah, I saw you working down Um, here, but I didn't know what you were doing. I was just like, yeah, I'll leave them to it. You made made a mushroom. Yeah, it's this is a meeting room. That's the idea. (laughs) This is a Um, meeting room. Yeah. A meeting mushroom, should we say. See what I did there, mushroom. You got some maps over there as well. Of Area 77. Apparently, Ren Bob traded them from Cub. I think they're pictures from the drones um, of Area 77. Oh, they don't okay. actually work, by the way. They're broken So why did maps. Cub they give it to paint. us? Um, I guess he wanted some beetroots, my dude. I don't know. Well, have this to is ask outdated. Him. Look, my silo, I've actually built that. I need to explain the whole silo thing as well. We're not very yeah. good at communicating. I didn't know you were doing this. You didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> we need to communicate better. Well, that's what the shroom room's all about, my dude. <laughs> we okay. have, to have lots of meetings down here. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, this is definitely outdated because I've already built more than just that circle. And I'm pretty sure yeah. Scar has made some crazy, and I mean crazy, mm-hmm. cliffs along that side. So, I mean, it's what we can clearly see, Scar. though, is a clear line between the vans and this thing called time experiments. Oh, nice. Yeah, that that works. Right. I mean, we might, yeah, we might, we have to yeah. make sure somehow that we don't overshoot it and stuff, but. I mean, yeah, I mean, the problem make, is there dude, are I, agents, I, can, so. I can see us making like a full tunnel system right under Area 77, like tons of them, and we'll just make Ooh. our way to all of these places. We could even very, have like very a, nice. a minecart area. Anyway, let's. let's okay, so. What's get inside into the, the mushroom? Shroom. I'm dying to know. <laughs> Welcome to the shroom room. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. 
This is uh, this is cozy. So is this is this yeah. the actual room or is this temporary? This is temporary, but we can hatch a couple of hippie plans in here for now. Okay. Uh, well, yeah. my my plan at the moment is to <laughs> dig a tunnel, as I showed you, straight under Area Seventy Seven to break in, but to keep them as we already know they're walking yep. around having a look at what we're doing i want to yeah. distract them as much as possible from the key target so in i want to avoid them going down into my um, industrial excavation so i'm making some like big obvious things above ground for them to go oh <laughs> look look what are they look at what they're doing and i've built a giant silo and i would actually love to get your help on it because it's quite a big very project. nice yeah, I feel oh. like we could we could definitely make a lot of like Minecraft farms, like flower farms, yes. sugarcane farms, all of the natural products that all fits in with our hippie theme. And then I we agree. Can, we can fill up this silo. So my plan with this silo okay. is to build a giant RV sticking up in the air, and they will start theorizing about what it's going to be. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna reveal all my cards yet, but we're gonna have a giant right. RV sticking up out of this hole. And that should keep them fairly distracted while we create even more distractions with all the farms and stuff. They'll have no okay. idea what we're really up to. Yeah. Well, that sounds great. I mean, I've already got this farm thing going on. I think next up, maybe I can throw together a little bit of a commune around here, you know, some tents or something. Maybe we can get some actual hippies here to come and live here, you know, and it'll look really innocent, like nothing is going on yeah, other well, than the giant RV coming out the silo. In 1.14, someone discovered that you can uh, you can get pillagers, and if you get them to shoot a, 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 a villager, but you put snow in the way, they lose their crossbows, and then they become peaceful. Ooh. I think I saw it in one of X's videos. They just become peaceful, and they walk around, and a cub showed it as well. So it's totally possible. They just walk around and do nothing. They're just totally peaceful. So we could, like, do... Ooh. We could have them as our citizens to show that this is, like, a really peaceful area. I don't know, we can make like a pillager village. I don't We're going to turn can. pillagers into hippies, is Hippie, what you're suggesting. Hippie pillagers. Hip, hip pillagers. <laughs> <laughs> hip pillagers. Genius. That is actually a great plan. Okay, well, I'm going to crack on with some of that money. That sounds, uh, that's a lot of fun. Yeah, I think we got a, we got a solid plan here. Yeah, sweet. Also, Llama. Yeah, where did he come from? Who knows? <laughs> Ow! No! Bad! Ren, help! <laughs>